Welcome to the loading room. So we had uh, a good solid seven minutes of witty, clever, uh, well shot, edited transitions, high quality video for you that I just deleted. So you're going to have to catch up, which is probably good because you'll miss all the boring blather and jabber. So, all right, so we're doing a, we're doing a Kydex holster. I have some leather holsters. They're very nice. This one's getting a little long on the tooth. Worn. She ain't like she used to be. This one's great. It's very nice. Leather is the classy way to go. However, I've got one belt that uh, has the Safari Land adapter deal. The QLS. So I can just swap out from one gun to another. And I'd like to do that with this one. So went on the eBay. Got one of these for about $13. And uh, I have a sheet of Kydex here. Also from the eBay. Uh, two for ten. Something like that. Free shipping. Have some DIY holster. ShopDIYholster.com I think that's a Google DIY holster. Uh, or DIY Kydex. Either way. Got some hardware from them from a million years ago. And uh, we'll uh, probably end up using it since... The uh, Safari Land stuff. You, you get hardware that assumes that you um, you already have all their rigs and stuff. So, the part you missed was the build up. We uh, we're gonna melt this around this. And so when we do that, everything it's like a vacuum sealer kind of almost. We're gonna use pressure and uh, and some foam, but. We're going to suck that stuff up against here, so we need this to be built up so that we can attach this to it, and uh, it'll sit on our holster, so 7 minutes lost, 30 seconds gain, we built it up, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but these things are free, paint stirs, they're thin, cheap wood, you can cut them easy with a razor blade. And you can use your Kydex as a cutting board, and then you blue tape it. So we taped up the trigger guard, because if you don't, this is going to suck straight into there. You won't ever get it out. We're going to leave a little bit of hole for some retention to be gained, so it will suck into there a little bit. So then we started taping. We've kind of taped all of our stuff on there, filled our holes so that when it gets splished down, it'll stay. These might... That might break, but we're going to find out. It's kind of all learning. As long as it doesn't break too much, we'll be all right. Right, so I think you're caught up to speed. Three minutes now, so you saved four minutes. Where were we? Uh, we're going to tape on a little hood for the front sight. Because we're going to roll this Kydex like this. Probably set this thing right here once we get it warmed up taped up and we'll once it's hot we'll fold this thing over and once it's folded over then um, we'll pull all this out and we'll do some cutting but that's where we are now we'll finish this up we'll meet back once this is all the way prepped it's like painting uh, most of the work goes into the prep so once you prep it all up it'll be in good shape and uh, we'll gather back and uh, and go from there so step one get kydex get uh, appropriate hardware, and then uh, figure out what you want to do. I went on Google Images and looked at every Kydex holster, leather holster for revolver, and then kind of formulated a plan from there. So, there we go. So we've got the rest of this built up. Put a little kind of ramp in there with these uh, with the wood, wood pieces. Once it's done... The idea would be, yeah, once it's done, this will fold over, um, and it'll be sucked into it. So the idea would be that kind of from here up, we'll cut, cut off. Maybe you'll see when once we're done doing it. Um, that way you can kind of pull it up. Anyway, we'll show you when it's done. So the next step uh, will be to heat this up, prep our... Um, our foam forming pads and then um, heat it up and, and form it. I've got here our uh, toaster oven one each lead no food version 
So we're uh, we're warming it up. I have no idea how much uh, what the temperature supposed to be at. I don't remember. It's not 400 though, which is where it was. We're gonna set it up at, uh, at 275. Let those elements warm the thing up and cool down, and then we'll put. Um, oh damn it! We're gonna trim this. Then we'll put it in. All you have to do is score it a few times and then bend it. So. Straight, but not secure, eh? Do a light pass. Couple of light passes. There you have it. Another letter from that kid's school goes to that kid's home. In the oven, you're gonna go. That's at a 200. And we're gonna let it go in there for a little bit. Oh, you can see so clearly. We're gonna let it go for a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. You just want it malleable. So there's probably some better YouTube video that shows you how to do it exactly, but this is how we're doing it. Uh, it's just two boards of plywood. Well, the little notches cut at either side, so you can fit um, these things in the clamps, right? Hardware clamps. I got this foam, I think, from the DIY holster place, and uh, it's fancy, nice foam place you foam. I did use this for a long time and it worked out really well. If you're just going to do a couple, like the sleeping pad from Walmart, I think it was five bucks and I got a ton of pad. But after a couple, it thins out and becomes way less useful and you got to kind of use two at a time anyway. So the foam, this stuff lasts much longer and works much better. So do that. It's been in there at 200 for a little bit and it's definitely, it's Bendy, but not enough. So, we're going to a little hotter. It's like food. You When you can smell it, it's there, right? Or it's really close. Uh, note, I took off the grips because um, they're beautiful grips, and I don't want to smush them or crush them or crack them. So, watch the shit show commence. So, you got like, uh, I put on gloves because the last couple of times I've done a pretty good job of burning myself. So what we're going to do is, we're going to set the kydex down, we're going to move this thing over on top of it, we'll flip the kydex over, put this on top of that, we'll smush it, and um, and we'll just hope that it all works out, because often, or before, it has not worked out. So, watch and enjoy the fucking circus. Definitely malleable, got the right side going. Not too hot. Put that there. Line this up right where we want it. Put you right there. This might be too tall to work at all. Oh, yeah. in there. Let's see how it worked. It's customary at this juncture to um, have a drink in anticipation of your great success or abysmal failure. I forgot how much it smells, so turn on the fan and open the door. Start with that when you cook it. Uh, it's plastic, so it's got to cause cancer. So uh, in 10 15 minutes, so it's gotta be cool now. All right, moment of truth. Uh, that that might be your viable holster right there. That's a little tight. What we're gonna have to do, obviously, is cut right here, cut right there. I mean, it'll, it'll come right out. Stuff. Boy, that is in there. Anyway, 
We'll come back, show you what we cut. We'll cut right there. Leave the trigger guard spot. Doesn't look like it engaged at all right there, so we'll see how we did. I made our first couple of cuts. I don't want to leave you out on all of this. It's gonna it's gonna smoke a little bit unless you got a plastic cutting bit. So, and you're gonna get little plastic chunks everywhere. So eye protection, good idea, and uh, a spot where you can clean up. But more to do. Before we do too much cutting, I kind of want to use a pencil and outline. I think I want a screw right there, and maybe another screw right there. And then uh, kind of trim along that line, something like that. And then we'll probably cut from here up, and we'll see how that goes. I mean, that might look terrible, but that's what we'll start with. We'll go from there. So we've drilled our holes. We're continuing to just slowly refine our shape cutting off material and once we kind of get our good shape we'll cut the butt this is a great use for holding so we'll wait to cut this to the very end so we've got the screws in we've got a first test run a little um not really supported well on this side but it's not coming out on its own Ugh. we're gonna keep cutting but we're pretty much there all we have to do is get our um Get this thing drilled in, and it would pretty much work. Did a quick mark job on where we're going to cut it. We'll cut one side first, take the gun out. Then we'll cut one side, and we'll uh, mark the other side. Okay, so we cut one side, cut most of the other side, and we're going to break this off. Starting to look like an actual holster now. We got a couple more pieces to cut off. And then we'll clean all of this up. Welcome back, day two. You could probably do this in a day. We are going to take two days. Anyway, we got the uh, holes marked. As you can see, that's uh, that's the second. That's a new where we're gonna put the new hole. Where um, you know, what do they say? Measure, measure once, cut twice, something like that. So it's at a bit of a, a bit of an angle, maybe hard to tell like that. Kind of went like that. But um, either way, we didn't pay somebody else for it, so I kind of expect it to be a little messed up. Drill part two. All right, so uh, third time's a charm, actually, on this, uh, or what they call, I think this is an industry term for um, customizable, so we can uh, we can put it a bunch of different angles now, specifically, I think more so the one we wanted to start with, so it will be at an angle. So scratch the first part where I said we're not going to put it at an angle, but we can move it if we want to now, so bonus. So we've got it screwed on. You can see there's a bit of an angle we'll see from the other side, too. So that's flat right there. So a little forward canted angle, which is what we want. And because we've got so many holes, if we wanted to go straight up and down or lean forward, we could do that now. Bonus. So all that's really left is to kind of clean up these rough edges, make it look nice, do some adjustment on the tension. And um, we're going to put some felt in there. I don't think they protrude far enough, but we'll take a quick look and uh, maybe cover them up. A little glue, some felt, we're good to go. Look at that. Finish your project and then you find you actually have plastic discs. Just do a little touch up. You can do uh, way better. We'll end up taking all these uh, uh, apart, blowing everything out, put the felt in there. But um, you can make these look really nice if you want to put the time into it. We'll probably just make ours look presentable. Uh, I think there's a guy, EDC Philadelphia. 
I don't know, there's a holster maker in Philadelphia, and I think EDC is part of his YouTube channel. I watched a bunch of his videos. He's probably the reason I started making my own holsters. And, uh, anyway, he, his look really nice. He kind of goes way in depth, but a little sandpaper. There's even guys that go way, way into it and do wet sand down to a thousand grit and make it look like a mere, real nice professional, professional job, but... So we took all the screws off, so now we can get inside. There's a ton of a ton of stuff we cleaned out. We can get up. So if you take your time during this part, then uh, then you can actually make kind of a nice product here. Some black felt, and use this to uh, whoop, cut it out. So it's almost the exact same size. So we'll uh, get some adhesive. And bada bing, bada boom. This is glue. Strong stuff. Industrial strength. Adhesive. It's supposed to be good. Probably way more than we need. I imagine with this stuff, a dab will do you. So we use two dabs. And uh, so we should be good. There we go. Huh? Not going anywhere. Oh, a little practice, that'll work out all right. Cool. Well, it could use a little bit more work, but it's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with it. It's something a normal human can do. So a couple of quick thoughts. It's not easy making these and uh, it takes a few screw ups. I've done a few screw ups and they get easier every time. It's definitely worth your effort to try it. That's for sure. I ended up scratching one of these screws. There it is in the middle. And I was going to replace it, but I kind of way look, like the way it looks. A couple of imperfections means a human did it. A real person kind of put some effort into it. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, there you have it. Have a great day. Bye.